This is IMRH, Indian Multi Role Helicopter. HL is intending to design and develop this helicopter to replace the current medium lift helicopter V17. This is going to be a modern helicopter in this class. The all weight of this helicopter is about 13 tons. It can carry 24 troops in normal configuration and about 36 troops for the high density con uh, configuration. Currently, we have uh, frozen the design of this helicopter and uh, we are able to comply all the requirements of Indian Air Force. After we get the funding, we should be able to complete the design in four years and we should be able to fly after four years. Then the next four years will take for the certification and flight testing. So after eight years, this helicopter will be ready for the induction. This helicopter can operate from sea level to uh, seven kilometers pressure altitude. This helicopter can perform roles like uh, combat search and rescue, uh, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, medical evacuation, troop transport, underslung, SHBO. So this helicopter is going to be a multi-role, multi-mission helicopter. And this helicopter is going to be the first helicopter in the world which can land and take off at 5 km pressure altitude in OGE over out of ground effect. This helicopter will have modern avionics uh, so that it can fly in DVE where visibility is less. Also we are going to have glass cockpit, you can see that the cockpit is lit up. Apart from that there are other uh, features that this helicopter is going to have like you can see the elevator which can be moved in flight up and down so that the feature attitude of the helicopter can be controlled. The, this helicopter is going to have a uh, five-bladed uh, main rotor. Uh, it is actually articulated rotor with spherical bearing. Same way we are going to have articulated rotor on the tail rotor, but the blades are going to be four. Four blades are there because we want to operate at high altitude, more number of blades, higher diameter will help us to uh, carry out operation at high altitude and adverse weather condition. Uh, you can see that uh, the uh, cabin, uh, now what is shown is a 24 troop configuration. But in case we need to have a 36 troop, we will be able to carry uh, troops inside this helicopter. This helicopter also will have armaments like rocket pod, air to air missile, potted gun. We can also install guns inside the cabin. There are two types of guns we can install. One is the 7.62mm gun, the other is the 12.7mm gun. With that, with all these features, the helicopter is going to be a world-class, state-of-the-art helicopter coming out from the uh, stables of HEL and fulfilling the dreams of our Prime Minister, Aat Nirbhar Bharat, for helicopter design and development. HLF T42 itself is a new launch. Uh, it's a lead in fighter trainer which is conceived by HL internally. Uh, lead in fighter trainer is required by Air Forces around the world and Indian Air Force definitely needs it, so does the Navy. So we are developing a very high performance trainer, perhaps the highest performance in the world, which will be launched for the Air Force.